Yes, welcome back to Sports Show. Of course, big weekend in the SNFL on Sunday. 143 years. We now see Woodville West Torrance defeat North Adelaide in the 143rd year to be the grand final champions. I mean, good enough. The coach has been good enough to revisit, mate, after you bagged him a little bit about his <laughs> yeah. loss to Central's. Jay Sheedy, the coach, joins us. Jay, thanks for coming in, mate. Andy Hood from the media. Well done, boys. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks for having us. I, I didn't Thank bag you. you, mate. I did not bag you. All I said was I didn't think it was good form. Did I? So going out to Elizabeth, was it? Last minor round game? Uh, we'll sort it out after the show. Oh, right? yeah. No, no, <laughs> make him suffer, mate. I say make him suffer. Hey, Jay, the first quarter, mate, it wasn't going the way that uh, when you're sitting in the coach's box that you think it's going to go. And then uh, quarter time, what did you say to the lads to get them going? Oh, I was just about keeping them calm, really. I think um, in a grand final, North had jumped us. They did that in the second semi. So might have been a few demons in some heads. And it was just about keeping the playing group calm. And there was still... 90 minutes of footy left, so it was about working our way back into the game and getting our hand on the footy. It wasn't a big lead, though, was it? I mean, not a massive lead that North had, but they, they started like a bull out of a gate. That, that was a thing. When we spoke a bit earlier, you said that towards the end of the first quarter, you felt that momentum might have been swinging a little bit, or, or at least it was even, breaking even a little bit, because if you're looking at that game like I was, North Adelaide took off, you think, wow, she's going to have to do something here mm -hmm. uh, to pull this up, because otherwise North will get away. Yeah, I think the, the best pressure in footy is scoreboard pressure, and I don't think they put enough on us in the first quarter. So mm. they had some chances. They, they didn't take their chances, and I felt that we kicked the goal late and they dominated a quarter of footy, but we only went in, I think it was 13 or 14 points down or whatever it was. So I felt like our turn was going to come, and mm. it did in the second quarter, and we didn't think it was going to be like that, but then we kicked nine goals one, so it was a, yeah. it was a good effort by the boys. Mate, you're going at half-time. What's going through your head walking down to address the group? Um, it was more about keeping the foot down. <coughs> Excuse me, it's been a few big days. Yeah. Um, it, was, it was more about, yeah, just keeping the foot down. And um, I was listening to Timmy Ginever actually speak, and he said in grand finals, you know, if the foot is on the throat, you've got to keep it down because I think the hardest thing in footy is to be, you know, four or five goals up because naturally you stop attacking and the other side starts attacking is a yeah. bit more aggressive. So I think it's about, you know, keep playing really aggressive and attacking footy and try and extend that lead. Yeah, and you did that. I mean, that's a great quarter of footy in a GF. That's a fantastic quarter of footy. <coughs> and it really took the game away in, in, in a sense. And uh, footy, got the footy. You got the footy a little bit as well and picked up a medal. But that's a great quarter of football. You, you said you probably didn't envisage kicking nine or whatever you kicked. But, uh, wow, mate, at half-time, that game is virtually shot. Yeah, well, we've had some good quarters this year. We've been a high-scoring team, but, yeah, nothing like that. Nine mm -hmm. goals, one in a grand final. I think it's, it's second only to, I think, West Adelaide against Sturt that kicked ten goals back in 1980 or something like that. So it's a, it was a big effort on a big stage. And so there's some great stories. There's always good stories in the, in the GF. Yeah, there's, uh, stories. Uh, you, there, there's talk you might lose <coughs> a few players, and, and that's... A, you know, that's a given, I think, that there's going to be a couple of these players go. A couple of players I haven't seen before. The bloke on the halfback flank, nice, silky left footer. Yep, Jacob uh, Ware. Yeah. Just a good player. Looked like a good player to me. Uh, the, the guy that kicked all the goals, the, the, the forward pocket row. There, there's some great stories in there. And these folks could easily get a jersey. They could, they could get drafted, no problem at all. Yeah, and no, I think so. I think we, we'll definitely lose Lockie Jones to Port Adelaide. He's well, Lockie, yeah. yeah, he's with the NGA Academy with, with Port, so he'll go there. Um, and then, yeah, we could, he could be the only one we lose or we could potentially lose, yeah, James Rowe, Jacob Weir, Ryan Mansell, yeah. Lockie McNeil. And then who yeah. knows, yeah. with Jordan Foote's game on the weekend, you know, yeah. he might put his hand up to have another crack at AFL footy yeah, as well. 24 disposals, five marks, seven clearances would do it for you, wouldn't it? Yeah, Three goals. I, I think get some attention. 14, yeah. 14 <laughs> or 15 touches and four or five clearances and four goals at half time, so it was a fair game. Yeah. Hey, man, I want to ask you this. June 27, if my memory serves me right, I reckon that's when the season started and you had to play your first couple of weeks at Adelaide Oval mm -hmm. and you're going, I wonder where this season's going to unfold to? Because everyone gets to this point where they remember the end and the, and the great ending to it. That, that early start, did you have those moments of going, this is just going to be a tough year? This is going to be a tough year? Uh, I think it did probably pre the first couple of rounds when we were slogging it out through small groups you know we had groups of 10 and then we had groups of 20 and and the, and you know the word on the street was we're only another case hitting Adelaide to shutting it all down again so in the players minds some of them were probably well, what are we doing all this work for at times but I think once the season got going and it was clear 
what the season looked like. Um, yeah, everyone got really excited. And I think it was a really good year of SNFL footy. I, th I thought where the AFL brand was probably a little bit down on what it normally is, you know, mm. playing shorter quarters and not mm. scoring as much as they normally do, I thought the SNFL really took it to another level. I think there was some exciting games this year. Yeah. Hey Andy, we need to talk to you, mate. The media sure. side of things, uh, you're sitting there very patiently, mate. Winning, winning the grand final, what, what's been the thing that you've noticed most in the last couple of days? Uh, it, a very good vibe around the footy club. <coughs> um, it's really rewarding to win a premiership you know, as a footy club, but what we like to see is our supporters get some reward for effort, I guess. Um, all the backroom staff, the volunteers, you know, uh, really pleasing for them. And I think the club, we're a real family orientated club very sincere club so it's been nine years and there's been a bit of pain that's well documented but really uh, proud of our supporters and fans who have stuck with us and to mm. see them on Sunday just so happy I think to me was you know, a great result and the, and the you know the phone calls we get are just real passionate happy um, guys that really supported the club you know since 1991. They've hung in there haven't they the supporters I noticed that with I mean, there's a lot, always a lot of talk about Woodville and West yep. Orange and, you know, the, there's a few die-hard yep. blokes left. You know, the Woodville, sure. where's my Woodville? Mm. But the Woodville name's there. Oh, yep. I, I think they've done pretty well to keep that group of supporters together. I think they've done extremely well, in fact. Yeah, I agree. I've only been at the club a short space of time, but in that time, um, I find them to be fantastic. In, I guess if you look at when they amalgamated in 91, mm. pre-91, both those clubs were successful in their own right through history, but probably premierships and, and grand finals was probably difficult. And since 91, um, you know, we've gone on to win three or four now. So yeah. it's probably, if you look at that, it's probably the, the right thing to do. They talk about the brands of clubs. They always talk about that. Suddenly the Eagles have got this nice brand. You know, they're in mm. the finals. They've won a few. It's starting to look good. Does that help with the sponsorship side of things? Yeah, certainly. Uh, it certainly has. We've had some really uh, great calls this week. Um, but w going into a grand final, going into the Premiership, you know, we're really lucky and we're really proud of our partners who have been with us for nearly 10 years. You know, Monteen, Kia, been with us for 10 years, Telstra, have supported us through all those years. Um, and I guess when you win a Premiership, they probably feel, you know, they're, they're connected to a really successful brand, but I think pre that, you know, we, our brand was pretty good anyway, but um, it just, it certainly helps, Phil. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. Brewery. The brewery. One of my favourite times of the year. <laughs> the brewery. <laughs> As opposed to any other time of the year. Well, that's yeah. right. That, that. How did you find that? <laughs> you going down to the brewery, mate. I mean, the, the, the chimney. band's not allowed, which was yeah. a, bit down, a bit of a downer, but yeah. hey, that's a, that's a great feeling, isn't it? Yeah, it was, and our loyal supporters stood across the road and um, all gathered and had a picnic. It was a really yeah. good feeling. Um, but, uh, yeah, the brewery's a, day, a great day. Like, I was there 18 years ago as a player, and, yeah, it's, it's probably the best day where you can actually just sit in a room <clears throat> and um, enjoy each other's company. And, and you watch the game again? Yeah, watch the game, yeah, yeah when the boys yeah. get up and about because you know the moments that are coming, so it's <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. We'll start talking about how good they were. Hey, we know it's been a big weekend for you. We really appreciate <laughs> you coming here, mate. Just, a tip, just a, <coughs> one tip for you before you go, mate. Mm -hmm. The only problem with winning it is that they expect you to do it again. Yeah, that's, that's right. So uh, <laughs> we'll see you next year about this time in the same seat. And, uh, you know, Andy sitting next year with another medal. That'd be great, mate. Sounds well good. Well done. Terrific. Thanks, guys. Guys. Great Thanks. year for Woodville West Torrens. Stay with us. Still, a bit more to come on the show.